Hey Jeff, it's Ross. Okay, uh, you asked about winterizing. Uh, I just, uh, I've been successful just draining the water out of the boiler. You can have it at a little bit of an angle if you want, down, you know, on this side. Um, then the pump is the most important thing because it holds water inside of it here. You've either got to take this check valve out, off, just unscrew it, get all the water out of that, and then in this uh, piping here, make sure all the water's out of there. That's all you have to do for winterizing. Oh, well, the, oil, the engine, of course, it needs to be oiled a little bit on the outside of it and the inside. Uh, you can put oil right into this little plug right here and run the engine up and down a couple times by hand. Uh, I just oil up everything, you know, like the flywheels and the crank disc and just make sure there's a good coating of oil on it. I wrap it up in plastic. Um, that's about it on winterizing. Keep it out of the weather. Bungee cords around the plastic will do it just fine. Take the stack off. And I always put uh, some old t-shirts or claws on top of these deals, you know, these parts here. You know, just to kind of protect them and then the plastic doesn't work its way through it in the wind. But as far as running the engine though, uh, then I've got these uh, blowdown valves here. I always open them up. A little bit careful because hot steam comes out of there and just turn on the valve a little bit so you can see it coming out a little bit more throttle That's a good RPM right there. Uh, right now there's like 40 pounds. Oh no, it's up to 80 pounds of pressure. Now your pressure will go down and, and if you're managing the fire correctly, it'll hold steady at 50 pounds of pressure in the boiler while you're running the engine. So don't be surprised if it you know goes down that much, but that's the way it is. I mean you gotta keep that fire going. The hotter the fire you have. You know, if you're using coal or something like that, then it'll, you can probably keep that boiler pressure up higher. Uh, just wood, though, it'll probably run at about 40 or 50 pounds. Uh, let's see, so the, the oiler is right here. I've got it open, you know, about a half a turn. To get put oil in here. And this is, oh, this is another thing you need to winterize. If you open this here, this end of it, and drain all the water out of it. That's important too. Uh, Pop-off valve is set at 125, and it'll go up the stack, up here by the stack. And you'll get a little bit of water on it at first when you first start the engine up. Water and oil. that low. It can be lower than that if you want, you know, if, it want, if you want it to be, but not much lower. The crown sheet is down here, so you've got that much water in it, and the rest is all steam. And the cr top crown sheet is right here. You can open these blowdown valves any time, but you always want to have them open when you first start it up because there's water in the cylinder. And so you want to bleed that water out of there as the engine starts up. That's all for now.